day beautiful people once again it's a beautiful 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 day here in I'm here in Brett's mall and we've been having a beautiful experience so far <laughs> we were doing some eye shopping and also focusing on the law of attraction and the law of manifestation so it's been great it's been beautiful so I welcome you to the divine truth where we where we bring out the truth in any concept so today I'm going to speak about money and how shame has took us very far from money. How shame has made it impossible for us to manifest the money that we really want. So basically, <laughs> it's been a great manifestation weekend for me. So I manifested this. <laughs> I manifested this and the divine told me to just, you know, just take out the shame in it that's why I'm bringing it out just here in public <laughs> because most of us we are so much attached to shame that whenever somebody asks for money we have to do it in private where people doesn't see <laughs> and most of the time we will realize that it's because of that shame that we are not able to manifest more money in our lives <laughs> like nobody can hold money like this in public like literally you'll have to go to your private room because you know you'll be afraid and I myself in my journey I realized that every time I was so shameful of money that I would rather have food and material things rather than having the money itself <laughs> but so far it's been a beautiful experience for me as I started my three three days retreat it's been a beautiful experience for me for manifestation and the law of attraction so how does shame operate Basically, most of us, even me included, <laughs> not long ago, I used to be so shameful of money and I wasn't aware because desire is the most dangerous entity in the world, is the most dangerous thing in the world because desire will always try to hide or get rid of, of fear and fear can manifest in different ways. It can manifest as fear, it can manifest as guilt, as shame and as grief. So today I'm only going to, to speak about the, the, the fear as, as a form of shame. So basically what happens is that when we become shameful of the money <laughs> that we can't flush it around, you know, because we are afraid that people will ask money from us. We are afraid that, you know, uh, people will take it away from us because we come from the sense of lack itself. So that is what we've been doing all the rest of our lives and even me included <laughs> beautiful people. I never exclude myself because I was once the same being and the same person who was so shameful of money. I couldn't hold money like this in public so let me just dive into it <laughs> i'm done with my money let me put it where it belongs <laughs> so yes basically what happens with desire is that desire is always there to hide or get rid of shame in terms of shame so basically we think that we love cars we think that we love houses we think that we love material we think that we love beautiful clothes you know <laughs> you know like this shirt of mine you see it's so old i love it the way it is but what we do is that we whenever we touch money we have this idea that you know i have to spend it i have to spend it <laughs> because i once told my friend one day <laughs> in this other beautiful video we were speaking about money and then i said what will happen to you if we, if we will give you a one million rent and, and take you to the desert which means money is just a symbol <laughs> we cannot spend money or do anything with money as long as we don't have a shop to buy and in shop that's where desire comes from <laughs> because the truth is we don't really want money but we use it as a means to an end and you know money is a beautiful object that whenever it realizes that we use it as a means to an end then that's when it starts to run away from us. <laughs> it runs and say, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, man. I'm going away from here because I'm not loved, I'm not appreciated here. I'm not loved here. So that is what I realized in my journey. I realized that most of our lives we've been casting, we've been chasing money away in our lives, in our manifestation. In the form of whenever we have money, we feel shameful of it. We can't even take it out in public. <laughs> we can't even take it out in public for people to see. We can't even express it. We can't even, you know, just be joyful to have money. We always want to buy things. So we use it as a means to an end. Because we are shameful of it, we use it to buy things. So money has become some sort of 
uh, a victim of being used. So every object, beautiful object, beautiful being in this world doesn't want to be used. <laughs> you know even about you, beautiful person. You know that if somebody uses you, you run away. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, man. I can't, I can't stand this anymore. So basically, this is what I realized in my journey that money has been used for so many times. We don't love money, but we love the things that money can do for us. It's like loving a woman because she can she can offer me sex and not loving her. Then a woman will feel not appreciated and she'll begin to go away. So basically that is what we've been doing with money. <laughs> then that's when I started to realize that touching money, feeling it, I, I took this this beautiful inspiration from this other guy, Trinius Henderson. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave his, 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 his cheese link to his channel on my, on my description below so that you may see. So basically, with that being said, stay good, stay awesome, and remember, <laughs> remember, wait for it, remember, wait for it. Don't be shameful of money because money is a beautiful thing. It does so many great things for us. You know, yesterday I had 1.1 1, 1,930 on myself. But today it's, I've, I've, I've spent a bit of it and it's been a beautiful experience so far. So hold money with confidence because money is here to serve us. Money is here to help us to expand more in our beautiful spiritual journey. So with that being said, I say you have a beautiful, 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 beautiful day where Wherever you are, and I say from me to the fellow Aasha, I say be peaceful, be amazing, and be great.